people were satisfied. Even though Jake Paul won most of the rounds, there was enough moments, maybe three rounds, where, and moments in a fight where Diaz made it really interesting. He, he, you know, he made you think a little bit. Paul's in the same position that Canelo is. He's bringing in the money. He's, he's, I, give him credit. Give him credit. Um, brilliant. Uh, and, and he respected the sport. He did it the right way. He, he trained. He, he got a trainer. He trained for a couple years, a few years now. Um, give him credit. He, he came up with an idea. He's executed that idea. Um, he's in position. The reason I say like Canelo, he's bringing in the money. He's controlling the promotion. And he has the leverage and the power to set the parameters of the deal. He picks the opponents. So, and again, he's naturally in this, the bigger guy. He's the younger guy. And he picks another MMA fighter who's not the greatest striker, but as you touched on, Ken, let's not forget that Paul only started boxing three years ago and is still a work in progress. But for me, he's improving all the time, both as a boxer, getting better technically and more fluid and more natural, you know, uh, with what he's doing, but also improving as a fighter, where he's becoming more confident mentally, more comfortable inside the ring where he can now see more things clearer. And and again, yeah, he's 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 picking his opponents and he's giving himself certain edges, but he's still fighting professional fighters who have been fighting since they were kids or most of their lives. And who while these these particular ones may not have a degree in boxing knowledge, they they have like Diaz, they have a PhD in toughness. And in the mental arena of, of just living and, and performing in that fire and um, in that cauldron, that, that cauldron of, of fear and, 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 and what can be chaos, just a, an uncomfortable, you know, an uncomfortable place. And Diaz used that edge and that talent to try and take Paul to dark places and to places he's never been. But to Paul's credit, he's developed enough, again, as both a fighter and a boxer, where he can survive those moments and and to win. So Paul came out fast. He um, he showed both his improved boxing and how he's just more, as I said, fluid and natural now, not mechanical as he was earlier. Uh, he dominated early. He was up two to nothing. He caught Diaz, who, you know, can be known as a slow starter, uh, a, 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 and was smart. It was bringing on their on their preparation. Him and his trainer, where okay, let's let's catch this guy by surprise. Let's start fast. He starts slow, and Diaz after that, I think he was surprised Diaz, but then he just did what he does. You know, putting on pressure, hoping to wear down Paul mentally and physically. Diaz is a southpaw. And I thought that Paul should have moved maybe a more to his left, away from the backhand, you know, the left hand of Diaz, rather than stand in front or, or you know, move to his right, which he was moving to, I thought, maybe too much, where he could be hit by it, um, which... He was getting hit with the left hands. Uh, he was getting caught with them in spots, even though ultimately he did get caught with a left hook. But after starting to apply more pressure, I thought Diaz had a good fourth round. You know, Paul had jumped up ahead or jumped out ahead, uh, won the early rounds. But then I think, and you you helped me with this, I think it was the fifth round where he dropped him. Was it the fifth round, uh, Ken, just... Verify that if you can, where Paul caught Diaz coming in with a good, well-placed counter left hook on Diaz's temple where he dropped him. I think it was the fifth round, but um, it was, it was. as you look for that, I'll just continue. As always, it was a, 
It was a super game gritty effort from Diaz. Um, the difference again was Paul was obviously more developed now technically. Um, his jab, Paul's jab, which I said would be a key to control Diaz on the outside before he could get close and to slow down his aggression, that was a key. That was that was important for Paul, and also his technique, as I said, was was better and. When his technique is better, in this case, than Diaz, you know what that means? Nobody touches on this. It means his defense is going to be better. And he was just he was just harder, a little harder to hit than Diaz was. That alone, that alone is, is huge. You were right. It was round five where he got the knockdown. Thank you. Now, although Diaz was hitting him too, I get it. But, again, Paul, one of the big difference... His defense a little better. And what made the fight, and, and we've touched on this already, but what made the fight a success and satisfying to the fans and to me, to you, was that although Paul was winning most of the rounds, Diaz was having those moments. Just having those moments. And like he did in the eighth round. I mean, that was a good round where his pressure seemed to be breaking through. You know, and his temperament, Diaz's temperament and experience was starting to have an effect on Paul. But this is where Paul gets huge marks from me. Each time in those character, each time in those two or three rounds where Diaz was coming on and testing the resolve of Paul, Paul came up big when he had to. You know, he, 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 when, when he needed to, he always responded after, after showing not just his, you know, not only his own heart and resolve, but his improvement as a fighter. His, he, when he needed to, he, he, he got beat up a little bit in that, I think it was the eighth round, and then by the end of it, he, he came back a little bit. He responded like a fighter should respond. He behaved like a fighter. That's the bottom line. In the end, Paul won, but Diaz did not lose. His skills obviously are in the MMA, not in boxing, and his brand remained strong or even maybe even grew a little bit. In the end, both guys won, and the fans were satisfied, as I said, there were enough moments. Scorecards, 98-91, 98-91, 97-92. All right, I heard people complain. Not bad. I, I, I didn't score it. But maybe Diaz won three rounds, all right? Um, somewhere around there. So 98-91, I don't, I don't think it's bad. 97-92, I, I like it. 98-91, um, Again, I don't think anything bad there. Um, don't forget that Paul did have a 10-8 round. <laughs> you know, we, we forget that sometimes um, with, with the knockdown. To, to hear Paul, and I think there's a legitimacy to Paul. There is a legitimacy to it. There is. You call him a YouTuber, whatever. He's a fighter. He is a fighter. That's what he is right now. And he's, he's found a way to make money with it. God bless him. The American dream. I want to... Was he... I, I'm going to say he was real because I think what he says, he tries to stand behind. Was he real when he said that I'll, I'll run it back with Diaz in the octagon, in the cage? Oh, with, yeah. With they MMA? They want him in. They want, they want... Well, I think that it's two With things. MMA rules? Yes. He, well, he's a wrestler. He's this guy. No, he's, well, he, he was. A, a he wrestled what? Wrestling. Yeah. Was in high school or, or what? I, yeah, I, but but he was he was competitive. Like he was okay. a real re legitimate wrestler. Okay. And I think he's also very, he's. I don't think that there's anyone who question his toughness. And I think no. that there's two things. Yes, I think he'd do it. But number one. But number two, he's saying he'll do it in the PFL where he just signed. Getting Nate Diaz to do a fight with the PFL would be a huge coup against the UFC in four PFL. Uh, and you know, uh, Jake is like mortal enemies with Dana. So I believe uh, that yeah. they're sincere. That's, I mean, that no matter what, I mean, I got to see it all, what it really is, like, and isn't. 
like, uh, and I'm joking. I'm half joking here, but like, are there uh, are there certain stipulations in the contract you can't get him in a in an arm bar? You know, I'm I'm, I'm half joking, but I'm just he no, wants no, a legit but, MMA. That's fight. That's what I mean, and he's legit. So if it's a legit MMA fight, let me ask you the question. Even though I'm the fight guy, who who wins that? I mean, if if Nate Diaz, if they're using four ounce gloves, and it's MMA rules, and Nate Diaz can do what he did with great MMA fighters, great UFC fighters, Conor McGregor, the likes, all kind, everybody, he could take them to the mat, <laughs> right? He could look to choke them out. He could look to, you know, use grappling, wrestling, just I don't know what the, I don't know what the strong talent traits of of Diaz. I, I don't know what his strongest He's abilities. a black belt in jiu-jitsu and I think it looks like it will look like Randy Couture and James Tony. I think he takes him down and chokes him out like in the first round. No, But, but I but, think Jake Paul uh, puts up resistance. But and, you made a point before that. This isn't James Tony. This is Jake Paul. Tony didn't really prepare yeah. for that. He just kind of went in Correct. there. Correct. But Jake Paul's going to prepare. He's been prepared. He's going to, and he has a background in wrestling. It would be like if I told you the best amateur guy is going to, an amateur gold medalist is going to come out of the Olympics and he's going to step right up and face um, Terrence Crawford. You'd be like, this just, he doesn't have enough time. He doesn't, three years wouldn't be enough time to prepare for a guy who's been doing it. Jake Diaz has been doing this his whole life. He's going to get him on the ground and, and swarm him. I think Jake might be able to resist the takedown for a minute or two, but he's getting choked. I don't think he thinks that he's going to lose badly. I don't think he's going in there with that. Fair. I'm really telling you. It doesn't no, mean he's accurate. Maybe you're right. I don't mean he's accurate, but he ain't made up that way. That's not his DNA. You know his uh, DNA. A, a guy like that—that's done what he's done. You know he—he's gonna go in there thinking, no, 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 I'm gonna win. <laughs> <laughs>